It's Friday night, 6 p.m. Eastern in New York City. This is The Daily Wrap. And welcome to The Wrap, everybody. I am Joe Concha, joined tonight by Philadelphia powerhouse attorney and one-time Sixers cheerleader, yes, Heather Hansen. You better believe it. We're having a great year this year. <laughs> Next, he is the second most handsome man on the Daily Wrap. Oh, Ford oh, columnist oh. and Sirius XM radio host Rick Unger is Can, here. We have to start the show over now. I'm just reading. You've prompter. already given the facts wrong. The, the, no, not me. That's impromptu. The I just, facts are wrong. I'm like Burgundy. I'm the Put it in prompter. Most I will man. read it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, finally, new to the Daily Wrap, but certainly not new to being on national TV, Dr. Kelly Powers joins us. Hi there. Great to be here tonight. It's delighted. Hoya I made it. Destroy it. Thank you for being here. <laughs> Let's go to the Daily Downroad. Okay, let's get right to it. Yesterday during congressional hearings on the president's executive order on immigration reform, state election officials testify that granting driver's licenses and social security numbers to illegal immigrants will create a major voting loophole. Go figure. Currently, with just a driver's license and a social security number, anyone can claim they are a citizen. So how serious is this? We are joined now by Federation for American Immigration Reform, otherwise known as FAIR, Media Director Ira Melman. Ira, thanks for joining us from Seattle. We appreciate it. Thanks very much. I won't make a Seahawk joke. I swear it's a week in the rear view mirror, almost two actually, so uh, you yeah, have my I condolences. That. <laughs> hey, Ira, uh, first we hear about that legal immigrants are going to be entitled to cash benefits even if they didn't file a tax return for up to, what, three years? Now we hear that non-citizens might be able to easily vote. Did the president fully really think out this executive order? Oh, yeah, he thought it out very carefully. This is exactly what he has wanted all along. Uh, in addition to the information that there's nothing that's going to be able to prevent illegal aliens from registering to vote now, uh, Bob Goodlatte, the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee, says that the administration is going to start giving parole to the people that they granted DACA to, the Deferred Action for Childhood Arrival Amnesty, uh, back from 2012. Uh, this will put people on a pathway to citizenship. Uh, so this is just one more lie from this administration. They said that this was going to be temporary, uh, that they didn't have the power to do any of this. Now they're going, uh, they're bootstrapping on their own illegal act and, and saying that they are going to put these people on a pathway to citizenship. So it's just one thing on top of the other. Uh, the only thing you can, can conclude is that this was a deliberate plan by the administration uh, to eventually lead to citizenship because they understand. Uh, the people that they're going to be giving amnesty to are going to vote for the Democrats. So you think, Ira, this was intentional, that illegals would be able to easily vote when he signed this order? That was the intention? Uh, absolutely. Uh, you know, look, if you follow the record of this administration, it's been six years of nothing but destroying any ability to enforce our immigration laws. Uh, it has been a record consistent in trying to tear down any difference between citizens and non-citizens, legal immigrants and illegal aliens. Uh, this is clearly the, the path the administration has chosen. Uh, they're in their final two years and they're just going for broke. Final question, Ira. What other issues can we expect to hear about as a result of this? Well, I, I think that you, the other issue, as I mentioned, that uh, they're going to be giving parole to the DACA beneficiaries. Uh, if the president is allowed to move forward with his latest amnesty, that is going to happen down the road. What needs to happen now is John Boehner has even developed a spine here. He has said that he is going to hold firm whether the Senate includes defunding language for the president's amnesty or not in the DHS budget. Uh, the House is going to hold firm. We have, have to hope that he does because if this goes into effect, there is no stopping it. The president is just going to do whatever he wants. Uh, so we're going to have a battle coming up probably in the next few weeks. DHS funding runs out on the 27th of February. Uh, they need to hold the line. Uh, if the president wants to shut down 15% of the Department of Homeland Security, let him explain that to the American people. He is the one taking hostages here. Well, it's certainly something that we're going to have to keep an eye on, Ira, and we appreciate you joining us on this Friday afternoon. Thanks so much. Thank you. All right, Rick, I want to start with you. Already Democrats are fighting for uh, voter ID laws, right? And you, know, you shouldn't really have to show well, a driver's Republicans license. Republicans are, but yeah. What's that? Mostly Republicans have been fighting. No, well, I mean they're fighting against right. showing an right. ID. Excuse me, I didn't phrase the question correctly. So it seems to me that this will require even more ID. Look, I mean, Ira, I have to say, Ira's a little bit paranoid. I don't think the White House is that clever to have set this up on purpose. There's an easy solution to it. I agree it's a problem, and it wasn't thought through. 
The solution is something we should have done a long time ago, a national voter ID card, but not one that's issued as a trick to keep people from voting, one that's issued for free to every American that qualifies. And, and you do it that way. If you want to do it state by state, simply give illegals who are here under the amnesty a different colored driver's license. This is not a difficult problem to solve. But you can, can't you see where IRA is coming from? When you look at their six jurisdictions in Maryland and Chicago that are now allowing non-citizens to vote. And if you think about the different places that are actually proposing right. this type of thing, there's a proposal in D.C. You can understand where people might think that this was on purpose only, and it's not only an ancillary if effect. It's not, well, you know, it's just, if it's happening on purpose, how could it not perhaps be something that was thought out here? You know, it might be interesting to use this as an opportunity to accomplish what Republicans have been trying to accomplish. Why aren't they talking about that? Here's your reason to have a national voter ID card. But Here's what I don't quite understand. All right. If, if I want to get on a plane, I have to show my driver's license. Yes. And if I want to buy, you know, we've been talking a lot about alcohol before the show for Some whatever medications reason. medications even. Or medications. Pseudoephedrine. We'll go to Walgreens, CVS. You want to buy pseudoephedrine? You can't do it without an ID. That's true. Can't get on a plane, can't buy a medication, but somehow you can vote. Right. You know. So yeah, change that. I, I'm with you guys on that. Yeah. But don't change it two months before an election when people right. don't have time to go and get what they need to get. Don't change it and charge them 20 bucks because that's a poll tax. Do it fair. Do it right. And I'm cool. Well, yeah, but I think that the problem here is that they want more. The Republicans want more than just not that these illegal aliens are going to vote. But they also don't want them getting our tax monies. They don't want. I mean, there's a Different lot. Issues. But right. well, but it's all part of the amnesty executive order, which started this whole poll ball rolling. I agree with you. We've talked about this before that Congress has to do something to help these people out and to get the situation See, this fixed. This is what's been forgotten. Everybody forgets when we talk about the president's executive order. How many times did he say, I will tear this up the minute Congress deals with it? They don't want to talk about that. When Congress deals with the issue, the president will indeed have to tear up the executive order. You don't like all of this? You shouldn't. Congress, do your job. Yeah, and and that is, I mean, that's something to be said for that, that they, somebody's got to step up and do something because this continuous go-around that we have going on right now and now the potential for defunding of the DHS is a real problem and it's got to be solved within, in the next few weeks. It just it doesn't quite make sense to me. It just seems so simple that if you just get a national ID card, I agree. then I agree. Th th everything is solved. I agree. Well, but somehow it's still a political issue. It's a football. That's because people don't want to give up the political issue. And too many state legislators are still trying to use it as a way to gain an advantage. And we got to go on that note. So can Republicans in Congress fund the Department of Homeland Security while shutting down Mr. Obama's amnesty program for illegal immigrants? This is The Daily Wrap, only on Newsmax TV. Mm -hmm.